Hello, my online friends. It's me, Carrie. Another story for you today. We are in week two of Advent, and our theme this week is peace. And what does peace mean? It kind of means freedom, tranquility, calmness, relaxing, happiness, rest. So in our story today, it comes from the book in the Bible, Gospel of Luke in the third chapter. Now, before I get started, one more word I wanted to ask. Do you know what repent means? Repent means to change the path that you're on. So maybe if you're going down up the wrong path, making some bad choices, repent means to change your ways. All right, so now our story. A long time ago, the Jewish people had many Roman leaders and rule makers. The emperor was Roman, the governor was Roman, the rulers all around them were Roman. The Roman Empire influenced even the high priests in Jerusalem. During this time, God called on a prophet, John, living in the wilderness. John, or God gave John a very important job. The Messiah was on the move and he needed to get the people of Israel ready. So John went to work. He journeyed into towns all around the Jordan River, crying out, repent, turn away from the path you're on and get everything ready for the Lord. The Messiah is on his way to save us. Not everyone believed John, but those who did followed him to the river to be baptized. Feeling the cool water on their skin was a way for their bodies to experience the fresh start happening inside their hearts, their minds, and their souls. So in our story today, John did two things to prepare for Jesus, the Messiah. He went to different towns telling people to repent and change their ways and he baptized people in the river. Now, as we continue to prepare for Jesus' birth, I encourage you to think about things that bring you peace and take some time for yourself to just be. No running around, no thinking, just breathe. And we're gonna take a moment here to do that right now. So with your hands at your side, let's take one big inhale, bring them up over your head. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart in prayer. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, three, two, one. Can you join me in a closing prayer? Put your hands together any way you wish and bow your head. Gracious God, we know that you are always with us during Advent and every day. Help us live in peace and bring love to all. Show us how to prepare for the amazing things to come. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to do some activity sheets and some coloring based on today's story, you can click that link. I hope you have a great day and a great week as you prepare for what's exciting and coming soon. Take care.